What's up, Jess Cat Eye Squad? Today we are making a chocolate chestnut and fig smoothie. I'm going to use my favorite sugar replacement, this monk fruit sweetener. It's really amazing. Um, you could put this in the coffee or anything. It tastes great and it has no weird like aftertaste that some of these sugar substitutes have. Um, if you don't have this, you can also use honey or just regular sugar. And I have these uh, chestnuts here. They're already peeled and roasted. Um, they were like under two bucks and I got them at a Japanese market. In this video, I'm going to be using all of these nice bowls that my son made in his ceramics class. So I'm going to rinse these figs down. Inside of these figs are so pretty. When you open them up, it's like a soft, fleshy fruit with all these like little tiny seeds and different colors. And here's what the chestnuts look like inside of another little homemade bowl from my son that he made me. So they're already soft and just ready to get blended or to eat. I have this little personal blender here. It's enough for about two servings. So I'm adding a little ice and I'm going to add all of the chestnuts since there wasn't that many. Now I'm going to add some figs. I think I'll add about six to seven, however many I can fit in there. Now I'm going to add half a banana. I have to push it down to make space. And I'm going to add a big spoon of Nutella. It's really thick, so you might want to use another spoon just to scrape it off to get all of that delicious chocolate Nutella in there. I have enough space to add a little bit more ice. And I'm going to use coconut milk as my liquid ingredient. Um, you can add water, regular milk, almond milk, um, any liquid drink that you think would go great to blend this all up in. This coconut milk is kind of thick. You, When you first open a can of coconut milk, you want to give it a stir. Time to start blending. All right, here we go. So here's my cup and I added a little fig on top just to make it look pretty. And it's time to try this smoothie. Here's my daughter. Let's see if she likes it. That's good. Give, give. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> they've never. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing Ew, she wants is that. <laughs> is that a rotten grape? <laughs> it's not a rotten grape. It's called a fig. <laughs> a pig? A macaroni. <laughs> Chestnut, a fig smoothie. That's Nutella in there, guys. Mm. Whoa, Vince is chugging it down. We don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take a sip? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I thought you were actually drinking it. <laughs> that was good acting. You know what? If you have leftover smoothie, you can turn them into ice pops. These would be some really delicious ice pops to have handy on a hot summer day. So I have this cute little icicle mold here. I'm just filling it all up. I love how the little figs leave these like little purple streaks. And I didn't have any popsicle stick parts, but I used some leftover chopsticks from fast food. And I just broke them in half for the sticks. Because um, just like socks, I always lose those little popsicle sticks that you put inside. And I put plastic, and now I'll put this in the freezer. Mm -hmm. right, a few hours later, and let's check out these ice pops. Looks really nice. When you take out your ice pops, it's good to run the bottom under some hot water so they can come out nice and easy. 
So there's the beautiful ice pops. They have a nice color. And if you don't want to eat them all right away, you could put them in a Ziploc bag and pull them out whenever you're feeling like a nice ice pop. Ah, me. Ah, me. <laughs> Smile, say bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this nice little recipe.